here with another episode of our Above the Bar. Um, we are interviewing uh, students, staff, uh, alumni that uh, go above the bar and are recognized. Today we have Ms. Yara Sanchez, who is the parent liaison at Guatemundi Middle School. Um, and she was the employee of the year for Guatemundi. And so we are recognizing those individuals again that have gone above the bar. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Yara Sanchez. I'm Cotimundi's middle school um, parent liaison. And um, basically, um, I've been working with Cotimundi for the last, I want to say this is the start of my fourth year. And it's uh, it's been good, um, learning a lot. Um, my first year, I got to learn how the school system, the back end, I should say, um, or the, what is behind the stage process. And uh, like I've told them before, hats off to all the teachers and the staff, because it's a lot of work. A lot of things happen before the doors open for our students, and that's great. Um, um, that's, I don't know what else to say, <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, I want to say that this recognition or award, I feel it's more like a team award, honestly. So, so, so you were recognized as the employee of the year for quite a minute. So how did that make you feel? You, you say it's a team award, but how did that, that, that make you feel? Because it, it is a recognition for you as they've been above the bar and doing great things at that quite a minute. So how did that make you feel? Um, nervous a little bit. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a nice recognition, but and I said this again, I really do feel it's, it's a team award because in order for us to be everything we've done and to get to this point where you're going above the bar, you really have to have that whole support. And I've been um, lucky enough to have that team with me. And so um, it feels good, but it's still, I still think it's a, a team award. Everybody yeah. working together, everybody putting in everything, really giving it a hundred percent all the time to get to where we need to be. And, and, and that's probably why your, your team recognized you is because you're, you're humble and, and, uh, giving credit to, to others, it, um, even though the recognition is is for you. So, which is a, a great example uh, of, for our district, and so appreciate that. But so, tell me what, as a parent liaison, what is it your um, biggest challenge that you've had so far since the spring? Because um, that was, you know, as we changed, you know, from went on spring break, and then we haven't been back since with <laughs> students, you know. So, so how has that uh, been for you in transitioning to that? It's, it's a lot on learning. We're doing a, um, we're trying to keep everything in a positive way where we're trying to be proactive, um, be, take everything we can to continue to service our families. But it is very challenging because we we're so used to having that social connection, being able to reach out to our families quickly, being able to um, notice the need and someone and being everything that's happened and having to do that socially and having to do everything virtually, reaching out to families has become a little bit, not impossible, just a little bit more challenging because we do want to reach out. We do want to provide the best service that we possibly can. And we want to keep connecting them to our school, to our resources in the community. That's one of the, maybe one of the challenges that we're having. And then just learning all the processes again and Google formats, Google Classroom, Everything Google is, is yeah. interesting. Yeah, it, and I think that's been a, a challenge for um, everybody, teachers, um, students, yes, parents, um, to, to, to really be connected. That's one of the things that, that as a district we talked a lot about is, is having the connection and what makes our district special is, mm -hmm. is that. And parent liaisons are a big part of that um, because you are the ones that are really out contacting parents, making sure they have what they, they need. And, and so tell me a little bit about um, what's the positive side of, of things that in your job, not necessarily during this change, but, but just in general, what's the positive side of your job? The positive, I, I like being a parent liaison. And I think one of the positive um, areas for us, at least, is, I mean, it, well, I would say in general, the whole district, District 35 has a great format where you really truly do care about the students and the families and you tend to connect that together so that collaboration of always working together of always reaching out to the families and making them function as a whole is really good that team 
really is good. For me as a parent liaison, one of the things that is fulfilling is the ability to be able to connect families to our schools and our families to community resources and being able to provide services and truly provide the help that they need, whether it's providing the sessions that we do or the sessions that we have for parents or really helping listening to a parent that's having concerns in that moment and being able to connect them to the right person and being able to connect them when they need it. I think that's really fulfilling because overall we're literally helping our students get to where they need to be. So that for me is very important. And I enjoy having this, this position allows us, um, it's not that it's completely flexible because we're always <laughs> pretty busy, but that flexibility to be able to find resources, to be able to pull in our community to provide those resources to families that might not always be able to get to those things. And that's a, a great again, asset for our district to be able to have that connection. Um, and I think what's again, makes our district special. So I know you do some other things on, on the campus of what I mean. So you're a, a, a sponsor for student government. Mm -hmm. Is that the, so, so tell me how did that happen? And, um, and what mm -hmm. do you enjoy about that role? Because that's a, that's a, you know, a little bit different on, on campus dealing with the, the students and getting them organized, especially in the political process. That is very different, I want to say. Um, it initially started because I'm one of those parents that likes to be involved. And so my student, my my now freshman actually, um, was in Stuco. So the opportunity opened up. I was able to, to step in and help out, and I did. And then it's, this is a, what is third year for Stuco. Um, I enjoy working with students. I think that it's very important to provide them with opportunities to enhance their leadership skills and learn about processing and learn about how to change and advocate and create a different environment for themselves and for their future. I enjoy working with them and challenging them and creating, looking for those leaders that sometimes hide because they're a little bit shy, but I, I really truly do enjoy working with youth and getting them um, that information. And, and I, I think that that's, uh, I had the uh, good fortune to be able to come in and speak to, to the, the, the yes. group and I appreciate that, I enjoyed that. Um, and mm -hmm. it's always the same thing for me, I enjoy getting back in with the students and being able to, to spend time um, sharing with them. Um, so now as a parent, you have a student going to high school. Um, what advice uh, would you give other parents um, for making the, the most out of the middle school years? Because a lot of people say oh, middle school years are the challenging years when you start to one hit puberty, you have a lot of different, uh, not only physical changes, hormonal changes, but then you always hear this thing about uh, the, the, that's when you, your kids don't want to be seen with you anymore and that kind of you know, thing but you know it's not necessarily true but but it's one of those things how would you um, a parent coming in as a sixth grader um, mm -hmm. to make the most out of those middle school years what would your advice be I think it's important for parents to understand that during middle school there's a lot of changes that do happen it's not just physical change it's also we're talking about physical, emotional, but we're talking about our brain itself is creating such changes, new connections, it's pruning, it's doing all these wonderful things. And so the, the kids are really going into a transition um, period where a lot of the times as parents, we think this is when they're gonna start to be more independent, they won't need us as much, but it's not necessarily true. This is where students are finding themselves. And so we need to be part of their um, guidance and be a good positive influence on them in that sense as ourselves as parents and at the same tr time trust that they're going to start making those choices um, as they're getting through this. It's important as a parent to hold them accountable, not hold them accountable, well yeah accountability is very important but it's also very important for us to support them when they're going through their academic career. Right now in these three state rooms, sixth, seventh, and eighth, seventh be careful with seventh grade. Um, that's when <laughs> that's when most of the drama starts with kids. They're, you know, they're starting to transition from our parents or our world to the world outside is what influences the most. But we have to be aware of that and understand that routine is important. A lot of us, you know, parents think like, well, homework is homework. It's not going to cause a lot of change. It does. It causes impact in our child, and it's not so much 
what they, that they didn't complete or whether they should complete it is they need to get it done because it teaches them how to be responsible, how to set routines, how to always finish what they start. And so it teaches them as they're growing up that by the time they're in high school, they're able to do this because it's such a routine for them, such a habit for them. So it'll make them a very successful student. Letting them know that it's important and what the responsibilities are and then ourselves being consistent with them is important. But you know, overall being supportive to them when they're going through this period, being here for them when they're going through this period, yet learning how to communicate clearly and being specific with them is important. They need um, that support from the parents during this time. It's, it's crucial because they are going through a transition. They are going through different phases. They are going through the process where they're finding themselves and really truly learning who or what type of student they're gonna be. And so all these wonderful changes <laughs> that don't always look wonderful when they're going through it. And you will have you know times where they're like, mom, I don't want you around. And if my kid sees this, he's probably gonna say, mom, why did you say it? Um, but it's important because you'll see it as they're going through it. And you'll notice, you know, it's it's different and it's different for parents too, because now we're letting go. And so, you know, that can be hard. And, and that was, that was there you go. It's, it's a great um, a, a answer because I think it's, uh, as, as parents, you know, when we get to middle school and, and the, they start to, to transition and they're, you know, and sometimes bigger than you, you know, it's the first time they, they see that growth and, um, mm -hmm. you know, the, the whole transition and, and it's one of those um, when I was a middle school principal I really enjoyed um, mm -hmm. watching the, the students um, grow and it's it's a, you know we, and, and have um, that when you're talking about student council the advocacy where they start to, to learn how to advocate for themselves even more um, right. which is a, another important thing mm -hmm. um, so I appreciate your role in that um, with helping parents you know, uh, navigate that and, and be part of, uh, you know, their students, because I think it, as a parent liaison, that's one of the things that, that we, uh, as a district, want them to connect, you know, that, that it's, a, we're all a team. And so we appreciate mm -hmm. that. So now that you have a, a freshman, you know, how has that been, even though they're not necessarily, um, you know, on campus yet, hopefully soon, but, but how has that been with a, a freshman? <laughs> it's a little different because um, over the spring break, he did get a lot taller. Um, I mean, I'm not that tall, but he's way tall. And so it's different to see them, but in all honesty, it's great to see that what he learned uh, through the process of his you know, transition and everything that he went through from sixth to eighth grade, to see that student right now working online and being um, proactive with his studies and proactive with making sure that he's on top of his own grades and his own um, goals, which is really good to see. Um, it's also a little nerve wracking to see that he's taller and he's looking not so much like a kid anymore, but you know, like a young man. Again, I hope my kid doesn't see it, but, um, <laughs> but it's been, it's been a good experience, really, um, it's a blessing truly. And I'm grateful to the, to the high school staff. They've been pretty good, um, in communicating with us too. And so I'm glad, you know, I'm, 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 we're happy. Well, well, great. Well, well, thank you for, for spending some time with us today and, and sharing um, your, your thoughts as a, as a parent and parent liaison, because I think a lot of that uh, trend, you know, goes together in, in helping mm -hmm. students transition and find that support. Mm -hmm. But congratulations for being the employee of the year um, at Guacamundi, and uh, thank, thank you for being part of our district and, and again, for being above the bar. So thank you.